Hey guys, I'm in the middle of playing a video game with Combo. Yes, I'm beating you, Combo. But I'm getting kind of hungry and I could go for a snack right now. But that means I have to go all the way to the kitchen. And I can't pause my game, I might lose. Hey there, Ryan. Hey, Coco, what's up? So, I heard that you are feeling a bit peckish, but you're way too far from a safe point to stop and eat now. No worries, my friend. Coco's got the perfect solution to your problem. What is it? A DIY vending machine. Imagine all of your snacks at your fingertips while you game. Plus, it'll look so cool in your gaming setup. Ooh, a DIY vending machine? That sounds like a great idea. While you work on that, I'm gonna try to defeat this boss real quick. Aye, aye, Captain. Good luck. Thanks, Coco. Yes. Welcome to Ryan's world. Hello? Anyone there? Hello? Bree, I need your help. Oh, hey, Coco. Is everything okay? It will be once you put those DIY skills to work. Huh, you can help me, right? Um, sure. Okay, great. I knew you were just the person. Thanks. So I'm thinking an epic mechanical vending machine with enough space to fit a day's worth of snacks, but small enough to fit a gaming setup. And if you could make it money operated, that'd be great. Wait, money operated? I thought this was a gift. Sounds like you have it under control. I'm off to pick up the perfect snacks. Bye-bye. Uh, oh, okay, bye. Huh, let's see. So we need to build some type of machine that holds lots of snacks that's money operated. Hmm, wait. That sounds like a vending machine. <gasps> I know, we could build a tabletop cardboard vending machine. Ooh. He is gonna love it. Let's get started. Ooh. So here are the materials we need for this build. Cardboard, toothpicks, hot glue, rubber bands, plastic, and a pin. Now let's take a look at our build design. First step in our build, we need a lot of cardboard pieces, like walls, the structure, the candy dispenser, and the coin slot. Oh wait, I needed those. <laughs> Come back! So let's start with what I think is the most important part of our build, the candy dispenser. So we're going to use these three very similar shapes. And we're going to stack them up and glue them together. Notice that these two are the same, but this one is much skinnier. That's because we're going to sandwich it together and this gap right here is going to be an important part of our lever function you'll see later. Let's get to gluing. Now remember kids, when using things like hot glue, make sure to ask an adult for help. Let's get to gluing. It's really important to make sure everything is lined up perfectly straight and glued nice and strong. Now let's work on our basic structure starting with an outside wall and an inside wall. We need to make sure the spacing is perfect and everything is glued at a perfect 90 degree angle. Next, we're going to glue in a piece of cardboard that will act as the base of our candy holder. Notice the rectangle that's cut out. This will be where the candy falls. Now that that's glued in, it's time to work on our ramp. Now our ramp is just going to be a piece of cardboard that's slanted towards the front. This will be where the candy falls and dispenses to the front of our machine. Now it's time to add our sliding mechanism. So now we have our candy dispenser structure built. You can see right here, this is where the candy will sit and that is where it'll be dispensed. Ooh. Next, we're going to make a window so that we can see all of our snacks. But we're not gonna use glass for that. Instead, we're going to use plastic that we recycled from an old toy package. But you can use any plastic you have around the house. So we're gonna glue that together and then put it on our build. Now it's time to finish out our face plate. Step one, step two, and step three. So after that, we're going to put on our face plate that holds our coin slot and our lever. And we cut a little piece to fill in the gap right there. Perfect. Now let's make our push lever. 
First step, we're going to glue a small little tab onto the end, like so. Make sure it's lined up good and straight. Now we're gonna take our toothpick and put it in the cardboard. Perfect. And now is the time for our pin. Well, part of it at least. So we are actually going to disassemble our pin just so we can take the spring out. So this is actually really important for our lever because this will give the bounce back that we need for it to operate. And the last step is we're going to sandwich in our middle piece and this makes our push lever. So now we're going to put our spring-loaded lever into place and look at that bounce back. Exactly what it's supposed to be doing. So now we're going to put our lever exactly where we want it to be and get it to stay in place using these little toothpicks. There you go, look at that, perfect. So now the button can be pushed but can't go out. Next up, cut them down to size. So we've added a toothpick and a rubber band to give us some good tension. This will allow for our coin to operate. Let's try it out. So our quarter falls in there. You push the button and <gasps> bam! Coin operated. Now we're going to add tension to the other side of our candy dispenser by threading another rubber band through. And then we're gonna glue on a sidewall that already has a toothpick in place. We're gonna put it about right there and glue it nice and straight. Now we're going to thread our rubber band onto our tension rod, AKA toothpick, just like that. So I just made a slide for our coin slot by cutting out a square in the middle and adding these two little walls to act as a ramp. Now, what this is going to do is allow for our quarter to slide over the hole and operate our machine like this. However, Smaller money, like a dime or a penny, are just gonna fall through and they won't work at all. We are going to start by gluing our coin slide to the base of the slot that we cut out in the faceplate of our machine. Now this will be where the coins are actually dropped into the machine. Now that that's glued in place, we're going to build a box. This will act as our coin return for any of those pennies or dimes or nickels that happen to go into our machine. Now that that's in place, we are going to make a ramp for our quarters. Now this ramp will perfectly drop our quarters into the sliding mechanism, and this will dispense our candy. Now that we have our coin slot all nice and installed, let's test it out. First up, a dime. Oh! And next, a penny. Looks like it's working! And now the real test, Let's try out a quarter. <gasps> now that that's working, we're gonna glue on our wall to close it off, and then we're gonna work on our candy dispenser. All right, so we measured out Combo's favorite game time snack. We've drawn little guidelines so that we can glue our candy holder in place, and it'll be the perfect size. Let's get to gluing. Gotta make sure it lines up perfect and straight. Now for the other side. <laughs> I mean, it looks finished, but I feel like it's missing something. And it is a candy holder, so I think it needs to be a lot more colorful and fun, right? some really bright duct tape around here somewhere. Oh, oh, ha, huh. that'll be perfect. So here's what we had boring before color and after. Oh, it's so bright. Now we're gonna put it in place in our vending machine about right there. 
The final step in our build is to glue on our top plate and our back plate. Now, we left a little hatch at the top so we can load the candy and in the back so we can access our quarters and get all of our money. And now, we're done with our build. Wait, who am I kidding? We're not done. We need decorations. Whoa, now that is more like it. Look at all these fun, bright colors. We have where the candy is displayed, where it comes out. We've got the little 25 cents, just in case you don't know how much it cost. And then we have all the bright colors around where the money goes and where the button is. And what I think is gonna be Coco's favorite part, we have the Coco door. Now this is where all the money is going to be. Pretty good, right? Did someone say my name? Oh, hey, Coco. Look what we just finished. Wow, Coco crazy, that looks amazing. And I've got the perfect snack that any gamer will love. Oh, these are perfect, let's test it out. Okay, let's test it out and see if it works. First up, can you buy this really cool candy for just one penny? Let's see. Oh no! What about a dime? Better luck next time. What you really need is a quarter. <laughs> so excited! Hey! Perfect! Good thing I have so many more quarters, I can buy all of these snacks. Oh cool, that works great! Where does the money go? I'm glad you asked. It's right here in this little tiny cocoa door. Oh great! Huh, now I've gotta get this to Ryan before he faces the super duper bigger biggest boss! Bye! Here you go, Ryan. The most awesome, epic gaming vending machine delivered right to you. With the perfect fuel to beat even the biggest of bosses. Bye. Bye, thanks, Coco. All right, guys, let's test this out. I have a quarter right here, 25 cents. Let me put it in. Whoa, it actually worked. Now I have my own vending machine that dispenses Wombo Combo Blue Raspberry, which is my favorite. Coco was right. Now I can play games and have snacks at the same time. Thank you for watching the video. Remember, always stay happy and rise up. Bye. Come on, we're about to get him. Yes.